Okay, um, we're back and this time we're moving on to what's happening in the aviation sector, talking about aviation security. Um, on Saturday last week, a young star named Daniel Ihekina successfully stowed away uh, in the wheel well of an Arik airplane 5NMJG at the Benin City Airport. How he successfully breached security to get into that aircraft is still not clear and I guess some of the agencies of government are investigating this. While this was happening, uh, the aviation minister was busy in Enugu state and they're celebrating the fact that Enugu airport uh, is having its first flight, international flight, out of that airport to Ethiopia and other parts of the world, which is a good development. But security being breached in another one gives reason for concern, and that's not just for Benin City, for across the board. The statutory responsibility of aviation security is the management of the security uh, it is, the, is in the hands of both the FAN and NCAA, but we'll get clarity on this, we'll get an understanding of, of this by speaking with the general manager of the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, Mr. Yakubu Dati. Good morning and welcome to Sunrise. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. Yeah, let, let's start with the issue of this young man who was stowed away in the wheel well of that Arika flight. Who is supposed to be in charge of security at the Benin airport and the rest of our airport across the country? Well, thank you very much for that question. I think we need to go back and look at the issue in perspective. The issue of stowaway is not new. In fact, we have a first case in 1928. And uh, if you Google stowaway, you will see we've had almost 100 cases. Uh, so uh, when you have cases of stowaway, it's not a breach of security. Because security is not a destination, it's a process. And uh, if we talk about security, most times we look at the U.S. as the standard. But there was one of our own in Lab that was found on the plane with bombs. So what we are but trying to say... No, he no, what we are saying is it's not a breach of security where you have people breaking through. It's the fact that security is everybody's business and because it is not a, 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 an, an end to itself, every time when there is... A, you know, a, a, a room when there is a breakage in terms of security, you look for ways Sorry, to uh, change it. Can we but take a couple of steps back yes. before you make that point? Let's take a couple of steps back. If Abdul Matalab is able to get through security with bomb in his pants or in his shoes or whatever it is, he's gone through security. It's been acknowledged that they saw him and he walked through for one reason or the other. He was able to cover it up without all of the machinery and equipment detecting it. That's on the one hand. But for a young man about 13 years old to not have been seen at all and to get into the wheel well, well, well. No, that's a different <laughs> ball game. Isn't I'd that a serious breach of security? And I think we need to carrying a bomb. We need to get the issues in, in, in proper perspectives. And the case has been made clear that he was detected at the Benin airport. There was movement that was seen and even the airlines attested to that. Mm -hmm. So it's not that he was not detected or not seen, but that along the line, somebody did not play his role. And those are the okay. issues that are uh, under okay, investigation. Okay, please help us put clarity to it, what we know now. You're saying that he was seen at the Benin airport, he was detected as having been uh, having stowed into that particular aircraft and who did and not do what? No, well, was done about it. From, the, uh, from what we, are, we got report and even from what the airline has said, uh, while the plane had taxied off, about to take off, now where the plane was is about, like, uh, uh, about a kilometer away from the terminal. He was preparing for the, uh, what we call the approach mm -hmm. and the passenger noticed some movement. And alerted, a yes, and alerted the cabin crew. Now the cabin crew now alerted the pilot, and the pilot called control tower, 
I said, look, I heard about this, but when I take off, do a sweep and get back to me. Now, by the time he took off, the fund security did a sweep and they didn't see anything. Now, security is everybody's business. The fact that passengers noticed that and brought it they to the attention. They noticed that there was a child. To, yeah, they noticed that. And they brought it to the attention of the cabin crew. Mm -hmm. And the cabin crew, in turn, brought it to the attention of the pilot. Mm -hmm. Means that the pilot should have played his role of aborting that flight and returning for scan. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that it did not happen at the terminal. Mm -hmm. It was at where was they were to, to take off. off. And it was noticed. And attention was brought to it. But uh, in, in, in aviation, we don't try to lay blames. What we try to see is find out what happened who did not play his role at which particular time to ensure that it does not have a repeat. So and like I say, mm. when you, the issue of stowaway is not new. It's not peculiar to Nigeria. Uh, that, and it's not a threat. True, and, but, uh, but we are happy that uh, the young lab is alive today. Mm. That we can even talk about it. We want to thank God about that. But the fact remains that, uh, and we have handed him over to the state security service to find out really what happened what led what him there, what were. was the intentions, and uh, sometimes there is even a conspiracy theory, whether it really happened in the first place, because it was on the same day when we were enjoying and celebrating yeah. the maiden flight, international yeah. flight yeah. to the southeast, so yeah. at this, of course, some of us don't agree to that argument, but sometimes, and that is why we're happy that security is also looking at it. For the sake of clarity though, when something of this nature happens, how will someone, a child, 13 years old, or something around that range, possibly a little less or a little more, how will that child be able to walk through security undetected, without a ticket, without anything to show that he is flying, and get near an aircraft? Because what we should be thinking is, if he had had a bomb on him, anything <laughs> could have happened. Well, I, I like to clarify, you know, that uh, the he, what happened was at the tarmac, and you are talking of a radius of about uh, 20 kilometers, and that's why I'm saying it's different from the terminal building. Mm -hmm. When a plane is about to take, it taxis off to the approach, which is about uh, that's why there's this two three minutes move, and then you get to the approach where the plane will stop and begin to accelerate. Touch it, accelerate. So, so it's really, really mm. totally far away from there. Mm. Secondly, yes. it's, uh, I'm talking about a radius. The, that airport is about 22 kilometers round. Now we have a perimeter fence which had broken down and we're already preparing to uh, look at how to reconstruct it. I'd like to also state here that uh, you and I are aware that uh, the aviation sector until the present minister, Princess Stella Odua, came on board had been yearning for attention at every sector. All of the 22 airports we have, most of them do not even have complete perimeter fences. Of course, infrastructure was nil. Safety equipments were yearning for attention and uh, that is why we developed what we call the aviation master plan which looked at areas of priority and uh, we looked at areas of safety where there's been a lot of investment in fact to collaborate the success in terms of investment the uh, nigerian aviation sector was rated by icao the world body as uh, operating above Excellent. Above, the, above yes. excellent. Okay. Yes. Okay. We've got a caller on the line. Okay. I'm yes. sorry. We've got a caller on the line. Babs, or have we lost uh, Babs calling from Ilaro? Looks like we've lost him. Uh, okay. Sorry yeah. about that. Yes, so, Ilaro. So like, yeah. This brings into very sharp focus the issue of perimeter fences for the airports. Yes. Because this guy could have been, I mean, w nobody knows what his intention was for doing this. Mm. That he managed to get to the aircraft and get into the um, will well is very worrisome same as having cows on the tarmac so what are you all doing now about the issue of perimeter fences because it's very important obviously yes it is very important and it's in uh, the front burner so far we've even taken additional steps because apart from the perimeter fencing we have patrols that go around this terminal to check